Hello, welcome back to this channel or welcome to this channel. My name is Jackie and I love planners and journals. Today I'm here to talk about my regular traveler's notebook. I've been using it for a lot of years now. I don't even know how long. And it's been always a whatever, whenever planner. I always call it that way. It is like whatever I need to write down whenever I feel like I need more space or if I feel like writing in a traveler's notebook because there's something special about writing on a traveler's notebook. But since the beginning of this year, I started using it more regularly, especially inspired by Cecilia from Scientist Plans. So go check her channel out. She has a flip through video coming today, I think, or very soon, or it's already out. So I will leave the link down below if you want to get inspired as well. So I thought I would come here and share my setup for 2023 and how I've been using it and how I intend to use it for next year. Hopefully you will enjoy this video and maybe get some ideas. So let's get started. So first things first, I have it in my black Travelers Company cover. It is my favorite. I think you already know that by now. And I have a superior labor paper or money clip right here. I just love how the brass is aging and I think it just adds something to this plain cover. I was using this Travelers Airlines cover because I went to Brazil and I thought it was appropriate, but now I'm back to black. I don't have any charms or anything for now, but I'm sure I will add them as the year goes by. Opening it up, I have just a pocket right here and at the back as well. Usually I keep the pencil board or a folder or tickets if I'm traveling or going somewhere or random pieces of papers. So now it's very organized, but it will get messier as I'm using it. I have the plastic Traveler's Company folder and in here I just keep this fortune thing that I got when I was visiting Kyoto in Japan. I have no idea if this is good or bad, I always say that, but I feel like it brings me luck, so I think I will keep leaving it here. And I haven't taken off this clear folder since I got it in 2018, so I will just leave it there and I just love the memories that it brings me and how it looks as well. The first thing I see when I open my planner and I look back at that trip and how I want to go back to Japan soon. It's very wrinkly. I don't know why it was not like this, but it's okay, it doesn't bother me. The first insert I have in here is the monthly one and I have a love and hate relationship with monthly spreads like this, but I decided to get it anyway and I really enjoyed the decoration of the cover and of this first page right here. So I think I will be motivated to use it more. But my initial idea was just to write down a summary of what happened that particular day so later on I can fill my journals if I'm behind. But to be quite frankly right away, I think I'm moving this to my passport size monthly because I feel like I don't need all of this space for this purpose. I can just very briefly write down what happened that day in topics or in bullets. So I think I will use this more as a health journal or something like that. I don't need it to be a planner. So I'm still figuring it out and we will see in January how I will decide to use this. But for December, I will keep doing this. And as you can see, I miss a lot of days and that's totally okay. The next insert is the vertical weekly. So I just wrote it down weekly here with with my label maker and glued it down vertically so I know which one it is because I'm always forgetting that the orange one is the vertical and the blue one is the horizontal weekly but I just like the look of it as well and I, I'm still decorating the front pages and sometimes I will just leave it like this. This is the insert that got me back to regular size traveler's notebook. This is the one Cecilia uses the most. And I'm not sure how I'm going to use all of these pages because it's not a planner. So I don't know, maybe I will use this to mark down 
the inks that I'm using and the fountain pens that I'm using, or maybe as a mood tracker. I still have a week to figure that out until January 1st, but for now, I have no idea. Leave me your suggestions down below. So this is the first week and today is the 23rd of December. So I'm already two days behind, but it's very easy to catch up. And I just love seeing my days uh, in this vertical spread and I love decorating it as well. And if I have the time, I will decorate a couple of weeks ahead of time. If not, just go with the flow. This year, I'm not putting any pressures. I just want to use what brings me joy or is helping me in some way or another. This is the pencil board. I have no idea why it's in this page. <laughs> this is the back of that clear folder. And in here, I just have pieces of papers that I might use to add tippings or decoration to my weekly insert. Now we have the horizontal weekly and this is where things get complicated, more complicated. No, not com I'm being dramatic. Anyhow, <laughs> I also love the, the design of the covers. I think it's the first year that I kind of enjoy all of my cover designs and this is how it looks. You can see the coffee theme going around and I think that's perfect because it's my thing and it's also the theme for this year's Traveler's Company designs. And this is exactly like the Hobonichi Weeks, but you get a little bit more space, as you can see. And as you can also see, I haven't started using it so far and I'm... I don't know to be, oh my God, I have coffee everywhere. Okay, coming back, focusing. So the reason I don't know how to use this is because I really love this insert. There is something that just draws me to this so much, but it's just the same as the Hobonichi Weeks. And since I'm not using the Hobonichi Weeks as a planner, I'm using it more as a journal, but with a weekly task list, as you can see here. Would I do the same? I don't like doing the same things over and over again in different planners. It's okay if that's your thing, but it's just not mine. And I really don't know. <laughs> and I've been loving this Hobonichi Weeks. I think it's just my style. It's just perfect for me. And I love the paper. I love flipping through the pages. And as you can see, I'm using it and I'm having fun, even though I'm a couple of days behind, but that's totally fine. So I'm not sure. Let's look back at how I was using these this current year. So at the beginning, it was going to be kind of my monotone journal and I had a lot of fun doing this, but I just didn't have the time or the mental strength to do this every single week. So I started having a lot of blank weeks and even though that's okay, it was more blank than field pages and then, then I would not be motivated to get back into it. It looks great. I really enjoyed this spread, but the next one is already blank and it keeps going that way. Then when I was in Brazil, I started using this as like a main planner. I really enjoyed this layout. And if I didn't love the passport size as much as I do, and if it was not perfect for me, I think this will be my main planner because I like having more space than in the Hobonichi weeks. I love the feeling of the Traveler's Notebook, how rustic it looks in some ways, and I just think it's perfect. And this was working for me a lot when I was there, but now I'm back to my passport size as my main planner and it works for me. So there you have it. <laughs> I'm confused. I'm not sure how I'm going to use this. This first week will probably be a journal because it's already Friday and I don't need to plan anything for this week anymore. And if you have any ideas as well, please let me know. But I just love this insert so much. And I, I, I think it would work very well as a planner, but that's totally fine. I keep saying that and I'm a little bit dramatic as you probably know, but my planners and journals are here to help me and to calm me down whenever I need to. So even though I'm asking for suggestions and 
I want to use this, but it's totally fine if I don't have a purpose. And I think this is one of the points of this video, is that it's totally fine if you don't have a purpose for each of your planners or notebooks. If you just want to go with the flow and see what you need whenever you need or whenever the time comes. And my Hobonichi Wix A6 is like that. And it was the first planner that really took that pressure off myself. And I think it's okay. And your planners can change and become journals or planners or notebooks or whatever. And I think this is what this will be. It will be here for when I need it to be a planner or a journal, or if I want to use it just as a notebook, it's totally fine as well. And at the back, again, I just have that little folder and I use to keep ephemera for my journals. And that's my setup for my regular size. As you will see, the theme for this year for me or for next year will be flexibility and just no pressure. We already have so much pressure in our lives. We don't need to bring that pressure to our planners and journals as well. And we just need to have fun and let them help us. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you can relate somehow and I hope it was helpful or at least helped you to distract yourself during this time. Thank you so much and I will see you soon. Bye bye.